brush for a new project to be brought in there. But none of the indications we had or my staff had that would actually install the security equipment had was that it was like any other plane, even something as broad ranging as the Aurora that we have all heard about in to one degree or another. But I, I need to back up a bit. There is another subject I need to approach above and beyond the ufology subject that I got involved with that relates, relates to this when we talk about alternative government control mechanisms. In that one of my favorite hobbies has always been tracking new technology. And hopefully so it benefits in business. And in 79, work, living and working in Denver, I came across the company that if necessary I can provide documents for that I've kept on file of a company in North Glen, Colorado, which is a northern suburb of Denver, was developing implantable chip originally for horses because there's a major was a major problem then and it may be still today of shilling of horses. You would have two horses that look alike and you would put the dog in and you'd bet against him when everybody thinks it's the fast one or you'd reverse that and bet against him. And he was attempting, through good faith, to develop a technology to give a unique signature to every single horse. That pill, if you want to call it that, intelligent pill, at the time was already small enough by then to implant under the skin with a horse needle, a large hypodermic needle. And I was shown these, and they worked. And we could read them with a primitive hand wand type reader from about seven or eight feet away. And this was still primitive technology. <coughs> Excuse me. Now at the time in the security industry, a lot of us had a lot of concerns about tracking and locating people that had been kidnapped, particularly what was going on in Europe at the time, where we were having NATO officers, even the Prime Minister of Italy, kidnapped. And these people were drained, or they were brutalized, or both. And one of the goals of the industry was to develop technology that would allow us to track these people or locate them quickly. Hopefully to save their lives, but on a secondary basis to keep from being drained of sensitive information. And I brought this technology to a meeting in a skiff room in Virginia that was arranged by a friend of mine with the CIA and another friend of mine with the State Department at the time to introduce this technology to what we felt at the time were the right parties to use this new technology responsibly. Now, I hadn't heard about the remnant or any other religious beliefs at the time that said that everybody was going to be implanted with some sort of marking system, 